Hi guys, in this video, we are going to look at absolute positioning with CSS grid items. In previous tutorials, we looked at aligning the grid items themselves and we used align items, uh, justify items, this kind of stuff. But in this video, it's uh, completely different. We are going to look at how you can position the uh, elements within your CSS grid items. So quickly, let me show you what I have in my HTML, um, in my markup here. I have a container, uh, which is everything here. And then I have three columns. So uh, three uh, grid items and they have classes, which I use in all my uh, CSS grid tutorials. And then um, uh, inside of each grid item, there is a div and that div has a class title. So the first one, section A, that is what you see here in black, section B and section C. And then if I go down to my CSS, um, I have, uh, actually, let me remove this. So I have uh, this container and then uh, it's a grid, uh, minimum, min max, minimum 100 pixels, automatic, otherwise for the maximum. Uh, all the properties I'm using here are covered in previous tutorials. Uh, so it's a three column grid and every item has a padding, background color, um, and this title is what you see here. So the background is black, the uh, font color is white, it has a padding width of 90%, and then I have uh, these two item one and item two. What I want to do here is I want to position them like what you can see here. Um, you see like this is also a three column grid, and uh, for item one and item two, uh, you have these black sections uh, stuck either to the bottom or the top. So if, for instance, the content inside of that grid item expands, um, the grid, obviously, the height is going to expand, but that black section is going to stay um, attached to the bottom of the grid. No matter how um, how tall that column is, it's always going to be attached to the bottom of it. Same thing for the top. So how can you control that uh, in your grid? If you're wondering um, how this is useful, um, think of maybe having a comparison table, like what you see usually on hosting websites or um, on any um, premium uh, service websites, uh, you know, online, and then they would just compare their products and have some fancy headings at the top, etc. So this is uh, one of the tricks you can use to achieve that. And I will show you in a proper layout in future videos. So for now, let's go back here in uh, CodePen and let's get started. I have a couple of instructions in my CSS to clarify what I'm doing. And the first thing that I have to do is set every grid item to position relative. So that's what I'm going to do here. Position, and then I set it to relative. Now when I do that, you're not going to see um, any changes here in uh, the preview, but uh, it's gonna get more interesting because now what I have to do is scroll down and set every div that has the class title that is uh, section A, section B, and section C, I have to set this to position absolute. So let me find that one. I'm going to remove that comment here. And I'm going to type position absolute. Now, this uh, section is exceeding its width, like slightly. Previously, let me comment this out. You can see the difference. You see it's well um, within the grid item. If I set it to absolute, it just jumps outside and we'll come back to that in a moment. For now, what I want to do is have this bottom. This is item one, by the way. So item one is section A. I want to um, attach this to the bottom of the of the grid. So let's check it out. Bottom, I'm going to type zero. And I want it to be uh, attached to the bottom left section. So I'm going to have left zero. Again, notice I'm not using any uh, margins or um, like paddings, etc. Uh, this is positioning, so a lot can be done with these uh, properties here. And then now I'm also going to set a uh, border radius of two em. Right. So this is this is what I want. Now. Um, Let's apply some styling to section B here. And I'm going to leave section C as it is so that you can see uh, the difference later when I'm done. But what I'm going to do is set right zero. Then I'm going to set top zero. And now it's just sticking to the top, okay? So I just have to add border radius here. 
Now I need to align this text section B to the right. So I'm going to add text align and set that to the right. Okay, cool. So the reason why we began by adding a position relative to the grid items is because if I remove this, see what happens. Now they are just dropping down and attaching themselves to the uh, bottom and the top of the preview pan in CodePen, not to the top and uh, bottom of my grid items. So when you set it to you set that to relative, everything is just constrained to that grid, uh, the grid items here. So make sure you don't forget that. Okay, now uh, second thing uh, that I had here. I have this set to um, 90%. If I scroll up, you can see here with I have it set to 90%. What if I had that set to 100%? Now you can see they are all exceeding uh, the grid items, which is weird because we are saying occupy the full space, not exceed it. So why is that? That is because I have to apply this to all the items in my style sheets. I have to say box sizing and then set this to border box. And I have a tutorial on that uh, where I explain exactly what it does, but just to refresh your memory, uh, what is happening here is that I'm saying determine the width of these guys here, section A and section B, by also taking into consideration the uh, whatever border they have and padding that they also have. So previously we had um, 100% plus the padding in between, etc. So uh, now everything is being taken into consideration to determine the height, the 100%, uh, sorry, the 100% width of these guys, section A and section B. So I could set this only to title, uh, the title class, but I want all the uh, all the elements to inherit from that here. Okay, so now what happens if I come here to the top? And I add some dummy text, lorem, and I'm going to type 50 and hit tab. This is going to give me uh, 50 dummy words. 50. And you can see now that this is dropping down with the uh, the grid item. Uh, and by the way, let me set this back to uh, 90%. Right. And I could also do that um, at the top. Uh, for uh, section B, I could have lorem and have 40 words. Now we have a bit of an issue here because the words are being hidden by um, section B, that section here. So what I have to do, simply I could come uh, here and say that's item two and maybe 1.5. I believe 2 a.m. will be better. Uh, you could set it to 2.7, whatever, whatever you like. Okay, I just want to modify it for that grid item. But you get the points. Even if I were to increase this significantly, like I'm just going to paste a lot of new words and it drops down, it's all good. Shrink this window again. You can see that section A and everything, they are resized to accommodate the space given. So if I now stretch it out, then they resize as well. They are just stuck to the bottom of the grid, but they still respect the width of the grid items. That's one cool thing that you can keep in mind when you're doing your uh, styling. Like I said, comparison tables, this kind of stuff. This will be very useful to, uh, you know, style your headings or your uh, column titles, etc. So I hope this tutorial uh, showed you how you can use um, absolute positioning with your grid items as an exercise to try and implement this on a real website layout and feel free to share your links in the comment section. Uh, so far, uh, they are not spam. I will just leave them in the comment section for other guys to also have a look and then I'll be more than glad to have a look at your work as well. So if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, uh, like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends and family on social media, etc. And make sure you also turn on your notifications to this channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.